Yo, right as I was about to film this, I got some fucking phone update that my high school athletic director's retiring. Like, I'm gonna go to that shit. That dude was a turd. Uh, yeah, what up, real rashy? No one cares. I don't care. I do it because I love it. So this is from a song called Never Gonna Make It, uh, featuring two of my favorite rappers of all time. I'm not gonna reveal who. I'm gonna start to not do that and just fucking wait for it and drop this bomb when it drops. But uh, the origins of this verse, when I heard the concept of you're never gonna make it, it was very easy. I went, oh, I am not gonna make it. I get that. But I had also heard of a recent Canadian goose befucking a plane. Befucking is my word for fucking over. You know, it befuckled the plane. I think I saw that from, from Brad Neely and his brain fuckler. But uh, I thought that was hilarious because uh, it's not funny if anyone's hurt or dies, but goddamn is it funny that a goose can fuck a whole plane. But that, and then I saw that hideous documentary, Blackfish. Uh, if any of y'all like Blackfish, just don't be my fan and don't talk to me. There's so many reasons to hate that thing. Uh, I'll, give you, I'll give you one right here. They're not whales, so every time that fucking movie calls them a whale, it kills me on the inside. Worst documentary. Anywho, Tillicum is the father of all sort of shamus, and that's where that comes from, and you'll hear the goose part, and I think it all sort of fits with not making it, and that's the background to the things people don't care about, but what I did once was, uh, I threw a mother goose into the engine of a Boeing. Ran up on the runway, told the pilot, keep going. Love to speak in riddles, so they always think I'm joking. But a joke is a half-truth, and so is a bad mood. Tillicum umbilical, my dad is a killer whale. Alternative ending, ending with free willies, bill of sale. It's awkward, because I'm a bit different. What I've written for television's been witnessed by millions. For instance, I was in the ER. Saw my own episode of Y&R on the TV set. Watched an old man laugh the last laugh he laugh because a joke that I wrote. It made me happy, but I stay rashy like a Baylor athlete. I'll make it. I may make it badly on a boat that I never really run a course. For crack and attack, and I slap it, I slap it, I slap it, I slap it. Ask a ninja. And... <laughs> That was a dope old dude asking it to, yo, I love y'all, I know this isn't a normal one, but, uh, you know, I love y'all, alright, I'll be around.